Welcome everyone to the Real Who Beans cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Alex. What's up, Alex? Greetings, everyone. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. And hopefully, Philip will come here any second. Um, basically, like what we were talking about is having someone. I'm not talking about the person being a showrunner. I'm not talking about the person being a writer. I'm talking about. Hey, Philip. Hey, Philip. What I was talking about, Philip, is someone having a right hand man or right hand woman, whatever. Like Rick had freaking Daryl in this one, right? Michonne, you know, like you, you need like your best person to be like an organizer that like basically like would get the actors to show up and, and, and they find out that if they film here and then they go around the block next week or whatever, like where they coordinate everything, where they can get all the stuff filmed within a certain amount of time. I'm not talking about like when I said somebody from America, I didn't mean that the person from America would show run the show, would write the show, would any of that. I'm talking about a person that's like, what's the word? That's a manager, some type of manager that basically gets like everybody where they need to be in place use the money wisely where you're not go you know what now that it's established you know you had the first season in the can next season she doesn't go anywhere like exotic filming and you you film stuff in cardiff and you, you make sets and you do whatever but you don't have the money to do that mm -hmm. i mean am i wrong philip or no, because you're right because to a certain extent, if they could go out if they could fly out and film in, in, a, in a different Continent entirely, they can come to London and film, they can go to Scotland and film, they can go to Wales and film, or well, in well being Wales, but they can go to uh, um, Britain is, a, is not a small country, there's loads of places they can go within the island to film. Why go all, all, all the way across the, across the sea to you know showcase a little bit of beauty? You can find because, because Christian's got to put sunglasses on. He's got like, I'm sure we're in her. I'm sure no one, let's take my private jet. Like, hey, let's, we got to have the best for my actors. No, bullshit. Poor church man. You've not proven yourself during your first season anyway. When you've proven yourself by your second or third season, then yes, I, I can understand flying your cast members to this place or that place, but not during. So he, he got money and like a child that you're given all the money you just went crazy and you just did not think for one minute that oh we need villains and well, we're gonna sh oh look at that mountain oh look at that sand oh look at that camel oh look at that sky oh look at the water does that look fresh it's nice and it advances the cgi's too but where is the money for the villains there isn't yeah. Can I come and say something? Yeah, go when on. Peter Jackson was offered to film an episode, Who? he offered yeah. Peter Jackson. He offered his entire production team to film the episode in New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. And the British lot were going to have a break. He would have done the At entire his expense. Production. Yeah. We could have got an episode for nothing. Yep. But why no. would because of egos that's why yeah. because Moffat did not want him to show him how it's done so there was a no did not want to get upstaged and it's not about doctor who it's not about making doctor who better it's about peter jackson making an episode of doctor who better than Moffat, and that's yeah. what it was in his head yeah, so it never happened yeah. It's politics. Uh, why do you think well, that? Why don't? You, why do you think that? All the talk about Russell T Davis. I love Doctor. I love Doctor Who. And then Moffat's like, "Oh, I love to have you. I love to have you." No, he wouldn't. That's bullshit. He wouldn't want him to do a dub. So Doctor Who. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't at all. It's just talk. Like, oh, I want to do classic doctors. No, you don't. Only if it fits. You notice how everybody's screaming at Moffat to have a classic doctor, right? When yeah. he wanted to have a classic doctor, 
he had Peter Davison because it fit his idea. But if someone gave him an idea to have classic doctors, he always said no to Con Susan to everybody, right? Because it wasn't his idea and he didn't want to be upstaged. Mm. Also, the other problem is with this season is they spent so much money on fancy CGI and fancy yeah. cap and stuff like that. But it, it's all very well <coughs> looking nice, but if there's nothing to drive what you're, what you're using, it's a waste of money. It's an empty canvas. Yeah. Yeah. The thing, it's, it's, the thing is, why can't they do Doctor Who like they did on the shoestring budget? They made it look glamorous. I always found that a bit of a conundrum, that classic Doctor Who was able to churn out excellent yeah. stories, month yeah. month out, and you know, and yet when you come to this day and age, we can't, go, we can't do jack all, basically. It's like... Because the people, people did not want to learn the craft that these people did, because they're a young generation, they're like, I can do it, and then they don't know how to build the sets. Mm. They don't know how to do what they did back then. This is everything right. is too easy, this, this, these things. So that makes them where they're not knowledgeable enough like the past was in building yeah. stuff. See, I've got to mention, there's these people on YouTube that I see that have created titles. God, and yes. And created the Dalek episodes. And yes. they could have done it for nothing. But no. There was a guy I used to watch. I forget his name off the top of my head. Uh, something Bane. He did. Oh, geez, how many episodes was it? it? Was like a. It was pretty much like an alternate Doctor thing. His his episodes were marvelous. They were because he combined things from Star Wars, Star Trek, and all that, and Doctor Who. Yeah, they were fantastic. And and like uh, like Alex said, there's people on the internet that did an awesome job, even with the whole uh, Star Trek uh, updated <laughs> thing, which was awesome. Yeah, and they and it, they managed to pull people from the old Doctor Who series to play different characters, but for whatever reason, the people today they go, okay, you want a Doctor Who episode? There it is. Yeah. Listen, we are so vested in Doctor Who as fans that we, a lot of times we predict things or we give advice and don't think that people don't watch it just because we don't have a million subscribers or whatever. Because there's, been plenty, times, there's been plenty of times we said something about the box office, like this movie needs to go and be delayed. And right, Scott? Yeah. Next thing you know, days later, that movie's delayed because yep. like, people are watching like, oh, you know what? We could say something on here like, you know what? They might be right with certain things, you know? So don't be, don't be too surprised if people have seen these videos and even Chimno watch, because Moffat even admitted that time that he watches people, you know? So we used to say stuff, and then all of a sudden the next day on Digital Spy, whatever we said, Moffat had somebody go out and talk, right? About like, oh, River Song's not going to be or something. So... And this is not just us. This is other podcasters, too, like talking about yeah. Doctor Who. So the point is that we're trying to give constructive criticism to better the show so the show can continue. That's what we're trying to do. We enjoy Doctor Who like you enjoy Doctor Who. And mm -hmm. th there has to be changes made. It has to be. It can't be we're going to do the same season no. next season. It's like it's like them doing. It would be. It's just like doing Home Alone, then Home Alone Two, Home Alone Three. It was the same plot line, different location. But then the you change the kid after a while. Then you change yeah. the mansion. Then you change this. It's the same thing. How many times? It's the same plot line, and you just change locations. And come on, people. That's like flogging a dead horse. That's well, all it is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Jody's um, first season um, a pass because. Let's be honest, every Doctor's first season has always been exactly. a bit... I agree with you. I agree with you. I said the same thing. That This is an experiment season. This is her first season. She yeah. does get a pass. Next season, she won't get a pass. No. Yeah. Her freshman year is... Sorry. Done. She gets a pass from us, but next season won't be. No. Because I want to see next... I want to change. I'm sorry. 
you know what? We, we invested enough money in Doctor Who over the years, buying stuff, and devoting our time and energy. Yeah. Because of the, the show that we love to try to make it great and awesome and wonderful. And we do, like, almost as if we, we're not even getting paid to do it. And we do it because we love the show, right? But, like, I want to see a change. Because I'm a viewer. You know, I'm watching this. I want to see a change. Has to change. The ego has to go. I'm going to tell you right now, the stuff, if you really want to make Doctor Who better, then as a showrunner, when the do, when the show is a success, no matter who writes it, no matter what it was, you know, then you get the credit for it, you know? Yeah, bring, bring back the excitement. Make the kids hard be on the sofa. Yeah. We're all back. And when they show a train for the next time, get us gripped. That's what yes. I want. Mm-hmm. Just don't make the, you, you make the trailer.